Uh, you wouldn't like to have a tarantula scuffling around your home, though, would you? Well, that's exactly what's lurking under the floorboards of a house in West Wales. Jackie Cabler, <laughs> <laughs> with an oversized net, joins us no, now exactly. from Llanechli. Is there really one in that house, or is this a figment of someone's imagination, Jackie? No, 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 no. It's been seen three times. It's been described as like a ball of wool scuttling across the floor. And if you think this is oversized, this net, this spider is about the size of a CD, so I think it would fit rather nicely in there. And we've been on spider hunt all morning. Nobody knows where it's come from. Possibly it escaped from somebody who keeps them. It was seen in this bedroom, so there's a, a trap on the floor. That's a poor locust on that, waiting to be eaten by the monster. The cupboards have all been taped up, so that if it's in there, it'll be trapped. And if we go out here, we can see all over the house they've got these traps. There's another locust trap down there, those poor locusts. The family have been so frightened by this that they are struggling to sleep in the house. And in fact, not all of them are still in the house. Because if you follow me down here and take a look at these boots, this is all you're going to see of Jan, the mum of the house, because she has moved out until this thing's caught. Now, Wayne, this is Wayne with his tennis racket. That was his bedroom up there. Wayne is now sleeping on the sofa with this racket ready to bash it. And over here is the man that's been called in to try and catch it. This is Gerard. Now, Wayne, first of all, you were in bed. Tell me what happened. Well, I was basically watching TV. It was pitch black. Um, I saw something jump across my face, so I ran over and turned the lights on. Didn't have a clue what it was. To my amazement... <gasps> oh, sorry, sorry, it's OK, it's OK. To my amazement, there's a mass... Don't do that. There's a massive <laughs> tarantula on the floor of my bedroom. I've never had such a fright in all my life. So you're sleeping down here, ready to bash it. Geraint is trying to catch it. Now, we've got an example of what... Because we don't know what it is, but you think it might be something like this. I, we... think, I think it's a bird-eating bird spider. This is actual skin of a bird-eater. It's actually quite sweet and soft. Yeah. And how you, you've, you've got your locust, so we've got the tub of locust yeah, here. Yeah, we've got the locust. We, uh, we're hoping to catch it alive, but yeah. because of Jan has got a bad heart... Yeah, Jan um, the mum, that's, yeah. that's why she's moved so out. So we've bad obviously heart. got to get rid of it pretty quickly now. So if we can't catch it with live bait, we're going to have to film the house, unfortunately which I don't want to really do, but yeah. it looks like we're going to have to do it. Now, even if it did bite poor Wade or, or somebody, it's not going to kill them, but it could uh, cause a horrible allergic reaction. Yeah, um, the hairs on the tarantula can give you a horrible reaction. I actually got bit by one. Uh. It was just like a bee sting, basically. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, I came up in a rush, and it was really bad after it. So we don't so want anybody to we, be bitten. We don't want anybody to be bitten if we well, can help it. good luck with it. Wayne, good luck. I hope you don't have to sleep on the sofa for What's too long. What's on your shoulder, Jack? Oh, stop it, stop it. Right, I'm going. See you later. <laughs> that's great to be, ooh, ooh. That's make you feel it like that, does, doesn't it? Thank you it? very much, Jackie. Crikey, the size of a CD. Yeah, and where's it come from, I wonder? Who knows? Hopefully they'll find it. strange person who keeps chameleons, pythons and spatarantulas. <laughs> Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Bye.